Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? So, for those of you who have Apple TV and let's say you don't have Nvidia Shield, but you really want to play your Shadow uh Thier, whatever it is, Boost Ultra Infinite, you want to play your Shadow on your television, but you don't have Nvidia Shield, but you happen to have an Apple TV. Well, guess what? Good news is Apple TV uh, and iOS devices are now back supporting shadow so you can use a shadow on your Apple so this is Apple right now as you can see right here this is my Apple there's my uh, um, Apple controller and what's so cool about the Apple TV you can use this controller as a mouse you see you can use it as a mouse to click where you need to click and move around so basically you already have a mouse uh, on this controller and you can also uh, pair your Bluetooth wireless keyboard to use it as a keyboard. And if that's not good enough, you can also use your PlayStation controller and pair your PlayStation controller. I have my PlayStation controller paired in. All you basically have to do is hold the, uh, the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time so you hold the PlayStation button and the share button which is right here PlayStation button and the share button right here you hold both of them at the same time and until it blinks you will see a little notification here from your um, from your Apple that you have your uh, Hold on a second, I'll show it to you right now. That you have your shadow uh, sign in. So let me go ahead, let me go back to my shadow really quick. Let me start the shadow. Okay. There it is. It's already uh, logged in. So here, I'll show you. See, like right here, you see? There it is. There's my PlayStation. I press that, and there it is. It's it's already uh, it's already connected to my PlayStation. So this is pretty cool. So now you can uh, use your sh uh, look. See, this is the great thing about the shadow is that you can use it with any device. You can use it on your um, Apple TV. You can use it on your Nvidia Shield. You can use it on your tablet, your iOS devices, your iPhone, your iMac. MacBook, uh, whatever, and the amount of flexibility you have with Shadow is truly remarkable, you know. And that's my main appetite for for Shadow. All right, so let's say for example we want to play a game. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna click on, um, let's say for example, um, BattleNet. Let's do a Modern Warfare. I'm gonna click on Modern Warfare right here. There it is. I already clicked it with my with my Apple uh, TV controller. Cause you use the touchpad as a mouse. You use the touchpad as a mouse, and you click on it. There it is. And that's so cool. So basically, all you need is uh, these two things: your PlayStation controller, PlayStation 4 Pro controller. And your um, your Apple TV remote controller. That's it. And you're pretty much all set to go here, as you will see. Now, I'm sorry about the camera and the way I'm doing this. Um, here, let me just click yes on all of this. Yes, yes, yes. And yes, you can run it in 4K, just so everybody understand. What's so cool about the Apple TV... Uh, and the shadow you can run it in uh, 4k and here we go modern warfare there's my uh, PlayStation controller as you can see uh, everything's uh, on 4k I'm gonna show you too that it's running in 4k let me show you my graphics uh, hold on I'll show you in a minute here click the uh, advance click right here and there I'll show you hello 3840 by 2160. I don't know if you guys can see it. There it is. 3140 by 2160. 
click uh, and apply the settings and now we're running in uh, on a 4k resolution there it is right there 3840 by 2160 4k resolution from Apple TV okay and then we go back and now we're in 4k on my QLED this is my Samsung QLED running on a shadow so we're gonna hit the multiplayer and this is a cool thing I'm using a PlayStation controller with my Apple TV and I'm using a remote Apple TV controller as a mouse you can also add a keyboard if you want to surf the browser use one of those Logitech uh, wireless keyboards uh, and uh, just connect it to your Apple TV as a Bluetooth any Bluetooth keyboard will do it okay so let's do a multiplayer really quick All right, so there we are. We're going to do a quick play. This is 4K. I'm streaming 4K directly from uh, Shadow Data Center and uh, through via Apple TV 4K. So Apple TV 4K supports 4K resolution from your Apple TV. NVIDIA Shield doesn't. So keep that in mind. If you're going to be using the uh, NVIDIA Shield uh, Shadow application, for some reason, the Shadow application on Android NVIDIA Shield doesn't support 4K. But here on Apple TV 4K, um, they support 4K. And NVIDIA Shield is a 4K device. So I don't understand what the hell's going on. Um, to be honest with you, you know, but that's what it is. Um, I'll ask Shadow, I'll tell you what, I'm going to ask Shadow next time I talk to them, next time they contact me, I'm going to ask them, hey, what's going on with a uh, NVIDIA Shield and the Shadow app that doesn't support 4K, I mean NVIDIA Shield Pro supports 4k and hdr and dolby vision so i'll ask him why is it that the apple tv uh shadow app version supports 4k but nvidia shield version of shadow app doesn't support 4k only 1080p so i'm gonna ask him that question whenever i get in touch with them next time okay so here we go this is my playstation controller and here i am Hold on. All right. Well, there you go. There it is. Um, um, the input lag, I mean, it's there. There's a little bit of uh, input lag, obviously, a bit of a latency, but that's because of my internet. This is not anything to do with um the shadow this has to do with my internet guys keep please keep that in mind i'm using a 4k resolution if i was using if i was using a 1080p resolution then obviously i don't know if i would recommend a 4k resolution if you um I don't re recommend a 4K resolution if you don't have a stable internet. Oh, fuck, they got me. But hey, look, on your Apple TV, you can play your PC, your high-end PC. What I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to connect my Ethernet cable uh, directly to a shadow to see what kind of difference am I going to have if I do that. I really want to try that. I want to give that a try. But hey, it's not bad. This is not bad at all. Uh, hey, we're playing Modern Warfare on Apple TV with your PlayStation 4 Pro controller. How cool is that? All right. Ah, oh, shit. Got him, got him, got him, got him.
actually let's do a quick test let me connect my ethernet um my ethernet cable and uh let me see uh, just how is it going to look if i connect my ethernet cable versus the wi-fi i just want i just want to kind of check that out really quick all right so i have connected my uh ethernet cable let's see what's going to happen i might have to restart my shadow uh to do this because I have just connected my Ethernet cable and um, let me go to my hold on to my shadow right here there it is click on it let's start shadow let's see uh, if there's gonna be any change uh, with uh, hold up it's a black screen right now I don't know what the deal is it's still starting uh, start let's see It's a 5 gigahertz Ethernet cable, so um, it should work. I hope. I hope. All right, so I'm back. Um, and uh, I can tell you right away that the quality is way, way better. Uh, you're getting much higher bandwidth, much ethernet cable is the best way to go and uh, right now it looks like as if I'm playing locally from a PC uh, this is native 4k uh, and dude it's amazing that you're playing uh, modern warfare in native 4k from your shadow data center onto your Apple TV uh, device so your Apple TV device it's getting that signal from data center and that's pretty cool. I'm gonna skip through this. Um, I'm gonna wait for a match to begin, and then uh, we're gonna jump in. Don't forget, you can also use a PlayStation controller with your iPhone. Your iPhone 11 Pro. Do the same thing. Just pair it. Hold the uh, the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time, and wait for this button to show one color. All right, the match, the match is about to begin. Let's rock and roll. Here we go. Team Deathmatch, Sawmill. Oh yeah. I mean, it's definitely better. I, I can notice it right away. That is definitely better. Um, you got to remember, we're live streaming this uh, f from a PC. And uh, it's your Apple. Dude, we're playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare on your Apple TV, dude. Think about that, bro. And you're using a PlayStation controller. Think about that for a minute. I thought this guy's gonna come this way. Hold on. I swear to God, this guy went around this way. Hold on. Pretty cool, man. I got him. I got him. I got him. Nice. Oh, he got me too. Look, this is amazing, man. This, this. Listen, here's what I want to say. Um, Shadow, it's awesome. But the most important thing, guys, you really need to think about this, this one important thing. You got to invest into a good router, like a 5 gigahertz router, and uh, make sure that you have a stable internet, guys. Um, stable internet, it's the key here. Uh, without a stable internet, 
uh, you're not gonna have a great experience with uh, with shadow you have to have that stable internet and lately I haven't been having uh, that much of a luck with the Xfinity you know even though I have unlimited internet but uh, um, if you have a fiber optical oh my goodness oh you're in heaven dude uh, so I cannot ex listen I cannot express this as, as much as listen I'll I'll keep repeating this till till people get it until people understand it if you want to get listen to me very carefully right now this is the most important part of the video I want to say if you truly want to get into cloud gaming you gotta invest into a good stable internet first get your internet in order get your router get all that stuff fixed and then think about the shadow and then think about the stadium because stable internet is the key Otherwise, you're going to have a terrible experience. I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, you'll have a terrible latency, input lag, all that jazz. And it's just not going to be worth it. So, um, just remember that. Remember that. Oh, shit. They got me. Yeah. And this is what I've been trying to preach to, to everybody. Uh, and sometimes people get mad at me when I say this. And I'm like, look, I'm just trying to help you. Uh... I don't want you to to get disappointed when you purchase Shadow or when you purchase Stadia and then you got a terrible experience. I want you to understand that uh, you have to make sure that you have the uh, stable internet. Invest into a good router, into a good modem, Doxis 3.1, Ares Surfboard, or Asus uh, 5 gigahertz, or Nighthawk. Um, router you know the, these are the our motherfucker shit I didn't see him so the, these are the important things that you're gonna have to uh, think about and that's internet rule number one make sure you have that internet stable internet because if you don't that's that man um, I'm getting murdered here. Um, it's hard for me to concentrate on a game and then talk to you guys at the same time because I'm trying to do two things at the same time. Please do under, to, to under, try and understand that. I'm not a, a fucking robot. I'm a human being. So I cannot focus on this gameplay and then talk to you guys at the same time. Uh, the message I want you guys to have here, yes, Shadow, it's awesome. Uh, it works. You can use it pretty much on any device, on your 240 hertz uh, monitor, on your 120 hertz monitor, on your 4K monitor, on your 1440p, 240 hertz, 120 hertz G-Sync monitor. Uh, you can use it on any device that you want to use it. On your phone, on your Android, iOS, your tablets, etc., 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 etc. However, all of that stuff, it's fine and dandy. But you got to make sure that your internet is stable. If it's not stable, then you're just wasting your time. You're just wasting your time. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just trying to be honest with you. I'm not here, you know, trying to to give you some misleading information. I'm just trying to give you uh, the facts and then my opinion. And my opinion is invest into a good internet service provider before you start thinking about getting a shadow or stadium that internet is the most important let let me end this video by saying that again invest into a stable internet have a good one guys i'll see you tomorrow